everybody hey youtube family it's your girl mocha baby and welcome to my channel if this is your first time viewing this beautiful face or hearing this gorgeous voice let me just stop right there and tell you a little bit about what i do here on this channel i do a little bit of this and a little bit of that i do a little bit of it all here y'all i do music reviews television reviews gadget reviews video game reviews I do gadget, I mean not gadget, I do blend jet recipes, I do real talks, I do spiritual talks, I do perfume hauls, lipstick swatch videos, uh, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Why? Because I know that you are more than one dimension. I also know that you are multifaceted. So why I give you just one dimension when I can give them all to you, shawty? Now, for my Impalas on 22s, y'all already know how we get it done on this channel. We're all just one big, happy, lit family. And the Mocha Latte Gang already knows that this is where the magic lives. And that's just what it is. So, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive right into it. And we're going to keep it going in this video with my What's On Your TV series. And we're going to continue chatting it up about One More Chance Season 2. And we're also going to keep the same format going as well. Instead of doing one show, we're going to do two. Why? Because I think that just makes for a fuller review. And I also think that it... it makes a gives a better comprehension of what's actually going on on the show if it's done this way so we're gonna dive into episode three and then sail straight into episode four so episode three what it kind of does is it ties up all the bickering and fighting we get from the previous episode it doesn't really do too much but it does do a couple things with that being one of the things and we finally finally get that name ceremony that we have been waiting on since the opening of this season and y'all we three episodes in and we just now getting that so you know that it has been crazy so the girls are lined up and chance is ready to give out names y'all now it's a mixed bunch we got some wild ones this time as well y'all so you already know that these names is going to be interesting so we get skittles we get danny dashian we get shines we get smiles we get soldier girls we get grand tees we get darties we get bombshells we get slams we get of course yodala and Rolly keeps their name we get danny dashians we get bay rubes we get bad and bougie we get brown sugar so we definitely have a mixed mixed bag we get fluffies y'all and it goes on and on um i will say that this was the one of the first times i think i've seen it in these type of television shows in general that you know some of them were not happy with whatever name that they were given at first but they did eventually go ahead and settle on one y'all i just guess they did not want to represent what they were supposed to be representing but we're gonna keep it on moving now after we get the names hashed out then it's time for you guessed it the first elimination nation ceremony of the season now i will say that this elimination was a little bit shocking because i could not see one reason as to why he would get rid of her you know outside of the fact that he just went into her look that much he wasn't attracted to her he she wasn't va va boom she wasn't sexy sexy it wasn't per it wasn't that every time he looked at her all he got was babe roof all he got was um american flag throw the first pitch all he got was swing better 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 swing better 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 hit a home run 
That's all he got. He associated her with softball or baseball or little league something. That's pretty much what all he saw when he looked at this chick. Now, I thought she was one of the most laid back ones, one of the coolest ones in the house from what I could see at that point. And, you know, maybe that's why he did, in fact, eliminate her. Because maybe he just didn't know that she was in the house. So, you know, after he played games with this one and that one and that one and this one, he did go ahead and send Babe Ruth a packing. So then we get into episode four. Now, if you made it this far, why don't you go ahead and like the video and leave a nice little comment. You know, I don't bite. You know, your girl gets back to you. Okay. Now, moving into episode four. This is where things get a little bit saucy, y'all. This is where it gets a little bit of interesting. This is where we put that the little seasoning in there on that chicken and make it pop. This is when you put the hot sauce in the greens. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, with episode four, we get the first scenes of we get some girls sitting around the pool getting their feet wet and you know they're talking about all the happiness that have been going on in the house now one of the girls bring up to roly you know i don't understand why you was chewing me out in the way that you was chewing me out because you know i was just trying to calm you down when all this that and the third was going on like it, it wasn't even worth all that sis and um what roly told her and also, you know, Rolly has one of those kinds of personalities that when she's 38 hot, when she's pistol whipping hot, when she's grease so hot, put the chicken in the grease, the grease pop up and burn you kind of hot. You can't talk to Rolly. You can't say nothing to Rolly. Matter of fact, you better not even look at Rolly too hard or she going to clown you just like she clowning them. You just kind of have to leave her alone and kind of just let Rolly do what Rolly's going to do. And in the meantime, you stay that way. Okay. Which she did tell her that. And then after that scene, we get Wop Wop leaving a teddy bear and some flowers outside of chance's door now it is nice to see them get back to what the show is supposed to be about which is you know chance and romance and chance not bang bang shoot them up we thugs that ain't what it's supposed to be about so that was nice to see that now when chance opens up the door and acts like he's surprised you know he immediately says the teddy bear looks like it came from goodwill and the flowers look like they came from pick and say that's typical chance y'all but i thought it was the thought that count right isn't it <laughs> okay but moving on from that and the next scene we get chance and his brother talking now in this scene they're talking about how the girls have been destroying the house and so he decides to call up none other than the original bad girl natalie nunn to you know kind of get these girls together you know kind of just gather them you know because they you know acting like they in the bad girls club they stuff and this show is supposed to be about love it's supposed to be about romance and not all that bang bang rah rah but at any rate they have a conversation over facetime and you know she says that you know she's there for her boy she gonna show up and she's gonna gather them she got something for them they hang up uh michael goes get the girls on his you know, daddy type of he's giving daddy type of vibes like what y'all in here doing what y'all in here doing y'all need to you know put on your sports bra compression shorts and we finna roll so they do that we get two vans of girls we get one van i'll call them Rolly squad and then we got another van i'll call them yola squad now both both vans have two entirely different energies going on but they're both trying to figure out what they're going to be doing you know they have figured out that they're probably going to be fighting but they don't know in what type of capacity with all the chaos and confusion and how they've been throwing bowls in the house so it you know what more befitting way than for them to be fighting now while all that is being figured out wop wop 
also notices something a little strange about your girl Fluffy. So she decides to devise a plan and bring it out to the forefront. So she decides to ask her, are you here for chance? And she goes, no. And then Wop Wop decides that she's going to repeat it to Rolly. And then Rolly is going to repeat it to the rest of the girls in the car. Now, with that being said, and I'll get to what I think happened as I finish explaining the scene. Um, at this point, Fluffy decides that she's going to get really quiet and put in her headphones and just pretty much block out the other girls and what they're saying to her at this point. Um, and, and then Wop Wop says that her plan was a success. She orchestrated it all. After, you know, Rolly, you know, tells her off because she's telling her she's being rude and she don't like her. You know, she didn't like this Stormy. She likes Stormy on Instagram Stormy. So, then we get the, her in the confessional, Fluffy in the confessional. And she's, you know, t talking all this, blowing all this smoke, talking about, you know, how can you just instantly say that you're in love with somebody that you do not know you know, that's, you know, somebody that's certifiable. Um, when the, especially when the guy that you're supposed to be quote unquote chasing has been disrespecting you the entire time you've been there. And as well as the rest of the people in the house that's supposed to be going after him, they too busy going after each other. And she said just that energy and that vibe was just bothering her zen and her chakras. And she just had to go. She couldn't, it was not for her. And we didn't see her anymore after that. Now, I'm going to say what I think happened. Um, which Roly does point out to her that she was being recorded. And I don't think she realized that she was. Now, I will say there was a lot of truth to the statements that she made in her confessional. But I will say Shotty put her foot in her mouth. Yeah, she put her foot in her mouth. And she realized that she couldn't come back from it. So instead of letting him eliminate her, she decided to that she would just go herself and beat him to the punch, right? That's what happened. Now, moving forward. And at this same point, they arrive at their destination. So everybody's getting out of the vans and they're going in to see what it is that they're going to be doing. Now, they notice that it is a ring and then Chance comes in and he realizes that they are missing one. And the girls proceed to tell him what happened with Fluffy in the van. And then, you know, he's like, well, I guess she don't have Lord for your boy. And Michael's like, well, I guess that means she, maybe she should have been eliminated at the last elimination service, <laughs> service ceremony. So then the next part, the girls were so petty with this. Like y'all did not have to be this petty. Y'all did not have to be that messy. Like the girl is gone now. Like it was no need for all of that. But what they did next after they finished telling that she had left, they went to talking about, you know, the hair on her head saying that you know she was always saying that that was her crown but that wasn't her crown you know so that was a lace front and i really thought that was petty because everybody knows that those uh lace fronts and pieces you know come on all kinds of different type of yicky yackies and silky this and malaysian that and bullasian this and you know, this, that, and all these kind of different bundles. We all know that. And some of those bundles and some of those pieces are the kind of texture that us African Americans are born with. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, if it was a lace front, does it really matter? We all know that most of the time those big puffs on people's hair aren't their real hair. Because even if you have a lot of hair, I can attest to that because I have a lot of hair like that. But it may not stand in that way. Especially you go out in the elements, it may fall, it may frizz, and all sorts of other types of things. So I did think that they just kind of should have left that alone. Now after that enters 
Nelly Nunn looking all cute in her Fashion Nova fit or whatever. And they discuss that they are going to be fighting. And then at this point, Chance asks them, you know, is it anybody that does not want to participate in this challenge? And, you know, they somehow equated to getting in the ring fighting for Chance, which makes no sense, which is sort of kind of stupid. But, okay, we're going to go with that. Go off, bro um go off my nigga we gonna go with that <laughs> but any anywho uh danny dashian decides that you know she doesn't want to get in the ring it's not what she came here for you know she spent a lot of money you know on her body and her face and her looks and she don't want nobody hitting her beating her or messing up how she makes her bread which is understandable i feel you danny i would have been the same way and i ain't put all kind of money in this i just feel like i don't want nobody messing this up that's how i feel about that i didn't when it came there for that either i didn't come there to get bruised up for love i came there to win love but anyway at any rate and at that point we don't see her anymore for the rest of the duration of this episode then chance makes a remark behind he wants to see her bounce and jiggle all around in the ring but he's gonna give her a pass and then you know the girls warm up they're on their rocky balboa and then it's time for the first match now for our first match which is very interesting we get womp 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 and biggie which is interesting you we know they have a lot of beef from the glass being thrown in the prior a couple episodes back so this ought to be interesting right hmm we get in the ring, Chance checks out their equipment, makes sure they all in good, gives the rules saying, you know, no hitting below the belt, no hitting in the JJ and Punanis and all that. And we get it started. Now, we think it's going to be a good matchup. We think they pretty even. Uh, not so much. Uh, I thought Wat Wat was going to go off, but she did not go off. Matter of fact, it was the opposite. Biggie was the one that went off and whooped her tail. So after she realized that she lost, she went to, you know, crying and boohooing and throw a tantrum like my toddler would throw, my two-year-old would throw. Uh, my toddler baby girl would throw a toddler. I mean, not toddler, would throw a tantrum like what Wat Wat threw. So she runs out the ring and starts talking about, I don't, didn't want y'all to hit me. I said, don't hit me for real. And y'all did it anyway. I ain't want to do this shit. No way. And she takes off out the ring, out the building, down the alley. And she don't know where she going. And of course, you know, the Zeus producers, they catch up to her. And, you know, ask her what's going on. And she's saying she don't want uh, this, that, and the other. And then, y'all, I for the first time, in Zeus history, they actually show a little bit of respect when she's asked them to get the camera out of her face. They actually, you know, slowly eased off and went back in where the other magic was going on in the uh, episode. I have to say shout out to Zeus. Y'all actually for once was respectful. I know that's not in y'all DNA. I know that was a little hard for you because it's not in y'all blood. So I have to give props where props is due. Okay. Now we get back in the ring and it's time for our next matchup. This time we got Roly and we got Smiles. Now y'all, this was an interesting match. You know, I mean, I know that Roly and smalls both have issues with each other but i kind of thought that the bigger match would have been snacks and biggie right that's kind of what i thought so i don't know why they didn't put them two in the ring i thought it would have been a better matchup but you know zeus has their own way of doing things so we gonna go with this go off zeus so they get in the ring uh smalls is talking all her trash yola say she kind of scared for smalls because you know it's not like it's her in the ring going at it with her so she just gonna see how this turns out so roly of course goes off and that was that 
and did away with her. Now, the next part I wouldn't, I didn't really like because Chance gonna act like she Roly knocked him down. And then, you know, Roly being Roly gonna get on top of him. And then he gonna act like his back was hurt. I wouldn't be want to be nobody's joke, baby. They, it seemed like they trying to make her to be the joke this season. And that's not cool. Um, and then going back to when old girl was talking her mess about how Rolly could move, where clearly she could because she whooped her ass. So we're going to move on to the third matchup, which is Yola versus Shine. Now, y'all, why they put Yola in the ring with that polar baby Shine? Shine can't do nothing with Yola. And then what makes it even more interesting, we find out that they've been beefing off camera because Shine has brought up one of Yola's dead friends, you know, saying ill toward his name. And um, I'm talking about King Von, y'all. If y'all paid attention, Yodala was in King Von's Crazy Story 3 video. And they were, you know, friends leading up until his passing. Um, Shine said that she did not know that King Von was her friend. And she heard that Yodala put her mouth on him. Y'all know what I'm talking about, too. And, you know, she was saying, you know, that that wasn't true. And for her saying that, she was going to whoop that ass. So, the match begins. And that's just what Yola did. Whoop that ass. Yola basically ran that girl all around that ring. And she said she wasn't going to make her tired. And she whooped her. And then Chance saw that Yodala clearly was going to be the victor. He stopped the match. But Yodala decided that she was going to be sneaky and try to get another kick in. And when she did that, she fell. So Shine decided that she was going to get a, a, a sneak kick in and kick her and then run out the ring. And y'all, I thought we went from a one more chance episode until the Forrest Gump movie. Y'all, I could have sworn I heard somebody say... Run, Shine, run. That's what I thought I said. Because this girl was literally running from your little mate. Why are you running from her? You talking all this spit, popping all this lip about what you going to do. But you running. You going the, uh, the entire opposite direction. Why are you popping off all that? And uh, Yodala, at this point, she jumps out the ring, too, chasing behind her, taking off her gear while Shine is still popping off. Now, while Shine is popping off, she decides that she's going to sneak punch Yodala. And uh, Skittles doesn't take too fondly to her doing this. So Skittles decide that she's going to sneak punch Shine. And from this point, it's just a whole lot of chaos and confusion going on. And, you know, Grantee, you know, basically said, you know what, uh, Yola, just, just go whoop this girl's ass. Because, you know, she didn't even know when to be quiet. She's just talking too much. And um, it pretty much ends like that. So that's where we're going to stop and we're getting ready for episode four, which premieres later on tonight at eight o'clock. You guys go on Zeus Network, watch it, subscribe to Zeus if you haven't already. It's only $3.99 a month. I promise you it will be the best $3.99 you ever spent if you're looking for good entertaining ratchet television that's exactly what you will get now before i sign off if you've made it to this point in the video i want you to go ahead and do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button somewhere in this area or that area or maybe even that area depending on what device that you are watching your girl on and then after that i want you to go ahead and ring that bell so you can be notified every time your girl posts so you won't miss this fire when it's dropping because baby this fire is coming and then after you do that lastly i want you to stay blessed stay fly and make angels be in camp all about you until next time later mocha lattes